What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just want to take a minute to thank everybody who's been recently subscribing to the channel. As of this video, there's 75 subscribers and at the first 100, I'm going to deem you guys the triple OG 100. All right. I am going to be doing a giveaway for you guys and we're going to talk about that right now. It's not going to be huge, but it's something. So, and you guys get to pick um, somewhat. So... Let's get into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'll actually be giving away a K series valve cover. It's a RSX Type S valve cover. Fits K20, K24. It does say Honda Motor Co. Limited, but like I said, it's gonna be painted the color of your choice in VHT wrinkle. So you've got four colors to pick from, like I said: black, gray, blue, and red. Those are the four colors you can pick from. I'm I'll ship anywhere. Uh, in the continental United States, in the lower 48. So I'm a newer channel, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to spend $200 on shipping somewhere. But um, I'm going to give this away at the first 100. Once we get first the first 100 subscribers. And like I said, I'm going to deem you guys the triple OG 100. And um, yeah, this is the giveaway. It's actually going to be painted in this style paint. Like I said, VHT high temp wrinkle paint. And this paint only comes in four colors. It's black, gray, blue, and red. So this is the stuff it's going to get painted in. And this is the texture it's going to come out like, like I said, in the color of your choice. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you have a chance to, to win a valve cover painted the color of your choice of between four colors. And um, let's get on to the rest of the video. I actually went ahead and removed this piece because it's absolutely hideous. I've got it all taped off already. I'm going to also wrinkle black this. I was going to wrinkle black the manifold, but I decided just to do this one little section instead of having like black, white, black, white. It's just this one little piece that's wrinkle black instead of, you know, that whole manifold. I like the silver manifold with this. I don't know. I'm going to see what it looks like. All right, so I got this all scuffed up. I'm going to tape off this uh, bung barb thing right here real quick and uh, then get it set up ready to paint. All right, I've got it all painted up. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the... Uh... Damn! I just did that. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the heat gun and um, dry it up, wrinkle it. You can see it's starting to wrinkle. Onward with the heat. Alright, I've got it all wrinkled up. And right now I've got it sitting on this space heater while I'm taking a break from the heat gun. And I'm just going to let it sit there and cook for the next 30 minutes or so. And then I'll, I'm probably going to install it because I'm impatient and it looks so good. So yeah. Impatientness kicked in. Uh, I got the bar ball, whatchamacallit. I'm about to peel this. Alright, so I got that little cover installed. Look how much better it looks. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't do the whole manifold and I just did that one piece. I like it. I like the way it accents the rest of the manifold. I didn't put the hose on yet, but uh yeah. It looks way better than it did before. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I got this thing is coming together. It's coming together. So in this clip, I'm <clears throat> getting ready to talk about how I'm going to paint the back half of the transmission. Uh, but I completely scrapped that idea with as much scrubbing as I had to do to get all the oxidation off of the transmission. But I did decide to go ahead and paint the entire transmission. But leaving the shifter bracket and the reverse lockout solenoid gray but i am going to paint this part in wrinkle black i guess i'm going to leave that raw aluminum 
and it should set off the rest of the transmission pretty nicely since the whole thing will be black and it'll have you know clean bolts and shifter brackets will be raw aluminum the reverse lock also know to be raw aluminum and it'll just be accented well like this <laughs> Well, I got this thing completely stripped down of everything that could be taken off of it. Every bolt, every cap, everything. Everything that could be taken off, the drain fill, even the fill up here I took off. Just so that it's a nice, clean, even finish. You know, as even as it's going to be anyways. So, now it's time to start cleaning. Or, excuse me. Now it's time to tape everything off so I can start cleaning. So, here we go. I'm going to get it all taped off and bring you back. All right, I had this all taped up, but I forgot that I had extra ones. Like, all of these are extras from another transmission, so I'm not worried if they get paint on them. I taped that off. I taped this off. This is kind of like sticking back up, but... I'm gonna just work around it. So now, and then this is the, the original cap for it. I just put it back in. I'm gonna just clean it up and paint it so it matches. All right, here's where I'm at so far with cleaning the transmission. See, this side is all cleaned up. And this side is still filthy. So I need to clean this side and this side here. And then I can do something. This is going to be quite the mission. I'm not sure if the wrinkle is going to actually peel because the way or wrinkle up because of this oxidation. Like, it's just. Like, it's just so oxidized. It's leaving so much powder everywhere. And I'm not sure how to get this off. And I want the paint to stick. I don't want the paint to start peeling on it. So if anybody knows a better way to clean this up, put it in the comment section below. So I went to Napa and grabbed some things. I grabbed uh, some aluminum brightener, some wrinkle paint, and then I got the bearings for the, uh, for the transfer case. It's right there underneath that rag and that green rag. So, um, let me show you this aluminum brightener. I tried a little bit on the back half, and whew. So this is how the transmission, how I got it to. And then, I actually used some of this aluminum brightener. And, look at that. I just let it sit for like 30 seconds and agitated it with a toothbrush. And it came out like this. So came out much better than I thought it would now I gotta redo this whole transmission go over the whole thing again because uh, I went over it with a wire brush I went over this side this side I didn't I didn't quite finish but I'm gonna go over it now with this aluminum brightener and uh, get it all down to the metal like this so that I can like I said so I can wrinkle black this thing so it's actually been a few days, but here's my transmission. Uh, it's starting to get this on it. I gotta just wipe it off. But look how much cleaner it looks. The the actual aluminum, the casting, looks way better. All right, I just gotta go over it with a rag and a plastic wire brush to get the rest of that off, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it. Uh, I did not pull the motor out of this. I have some work I still have to do, so I'm not gonna pull the motor out because it's mobile still. That's coming though. It's once this is prepped 100%, I can I can take this out and plop it in and get ready to wire it up and stuff to get it started so I can move it around. 
This though, I still have to like, I gotta dry this off cause it was actually sweating real bad while I was in here. The trans was so cold and the garage, it was so warm that the transmission was sweating and I wasn't able to paint. And I gotta get all the the water and stuff out of these holes because uh, when I was acid cleaning, you gotta pour water on it and there's a bunch inside the holes. So I gotta get all the water out as well. So let me get back to this transmission, cleaning it, and starting to paint on it. Just think, it looked at something like this. It wasn't, you know, this one I felt looked a little bit better, but this one, compared to that, look. It's my CRV transmission. So I painted this post mount right here in wrinkle black. Just to find out that this isn't the post mount. I thought this was the one I had saved to put on and it's absolutely not the right one. Um, let me show you that one right now. This is the one. This is the one you want to use right here. Uh, for K-Swap. PPA2. Not the RAA one. PPA2. That is the mount. It's the CRV element mount. So you can use the stud, not use the stud, totally up to you. Well, I don't know if the Hasport mount actually accepts the stud. So um, I may have to take it out. I might not have to take it out. I got to clean this. It's already painted. It's not wrinkled black, but it is painted. It's not all rusty and flaked off like the other one was. So I'm just going to clean this one and install it on the engine. Along with the giveaway, I'm actually going to be doing a channel name change because the channel is not focused on just me and my build. It's focused. It's good. Or it's going to be focused on a bunch of guys and their builds and the progress of those builds. So stay tuned for that. All right. So I just finished laying the wrinkle paint on this thing. I'm about to grab my heat gun and get to uh, heating this thing. So there might be some spots that I missed because of the way the casing is. But I made sure I tried to get everything on the side that you're gonna see as good as I could. So, yeah. Looks like I gotta hit that spot right there real quick before I do this. So here's the trans. I've got my light on it. Let's see, it's got the wrinkle going on. Alright. All over. It's got a good nice wrinkle. That's a little plastic thing plastic clip that I blocked the hole for the speed sensor. And it's not a super crazy wrinkle all over, but it definitely has a wrinkle. <clears throat> and that's what I was looking for. And it's all uniform one color. So I'm happy with the results. I mean, there's some spots here. You can see the gray inside there and then where the seal is at. But the interme the, the axle is going to be there or intermediate shaft. And this is the back and underneath the car. So you're not really going to see that. My main focus was all this up here, which you can still see that in there. But you're not going to see that in the engine bay. I don't think anyways. And this front side here was my main concern. So just this. The bottom, as long as it's black and matching the rest, and the back, as long as it's black and mostly matching, I'm cool. Uh, like I said, I was concerned about the top and the side. All right, well, that wraps it up for this video. I got my transmission all painted uh, in the wrinkle black paint. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted to, but I'm not upset because it's all one color. It's not gray, white, and greasy and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to be entered into the Triple OG 100 subscriber giveaway. It's for a K20, K24 valve cover. In uh, your choice of uh, wrinkle paint, black, gray, blue, or red. So like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Peace.